Hello, hello, my name is Brittany D. I am a psychic medium and spiritual teacher, and I am here to give you an overall collective message for April 19th to the 26th. This is an overall message for the collective, so feel free to take what resonates. And I also wanted to share, I'll drop the link in the description, um, that I just opened the doors to my signature course, Intuition Development, which is all about developing your spiritual gifts, um, whether that's for yourself or if you want to do the certification process and do it for um, others as well and develop even possibly a service and an offering um, for others. But it's really about harnessing your spiritual gifts um, and yeah, just taking off with them and empowering them and um, being able to be of service to the world through whatever those gifts are. Obviously, I'm a reader, so I'm really good at mediumship and psychic work, but I've had all different kinds of um, people come through the course. Death doulas, Reiki, um, tarot readers, I have, like all different kinds. <laughs> so um, the link for that will be in the description below. The first card that we have is fly flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. I'm really getting um, this energy being like, this unshackling and unchaining and um something that you are seeing that is your choice to do there's an empowerment piece there accepting what is i accept and embrace my inner majesty and this is what i mean by that power piece it's like your choice to either continue um, in the same cycle that you've always done, which is a lot of pain and suffering. It's a lot of connection with the ego or to um, move with the divine self and see through the eyes of source, see through the eyes of love and free yourself and free if anyone that's also connected to that, that's bonded to that chain. <sighs> Always remember we're not doing it for them, we're doing it for ourselves. Being in the flow, I am in the flow of the universe. Right as I flipped that over, I got the words, it's just time. This is you surrendering to the natural organic flow of the situation, um, which is who you are. And so it's not necessarily like you are yeah, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it because it's part of the higher plan, because you know it's part of your soul's path and what you're meant to do and what you know is truly the highest and best. So that's why you're doing it. It's not for um, you or them or necessarily anyone. It's, it's because you know that it's with the flow of source and that's always your highest priority. <laughs> Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are saved and protected by heaven. So if the ego comes in and is like, but what about this? But what about that? We need to protect ourselves. We need to know that spirits got you. Your guides got you. You got teams behind you. You, your loved ones, your precious babies, all of those things are protected. So know that spirits got that taken care of. That's being taken into consideration here. Um, and that it's, um, it's taken care of. That's not something for you to worry about. Um, it's, it's done. Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging, indulging in much-needed self-care. Um, as soon as I flipped this over, I got the word integration. This seems like a really big move for you to trust the universe, to free yourself, to accept and allow, um, you know, to trust that you are protected, everything's taken care of, and you don't have to keep those walls up anymore. So really give yourself the time um, to be with self to take care of yourself, um, to integrate, to just be still and just integrate um, the work that you're doing because it's pretty, it's actually pretty deep on a lot of um, levels. You are being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet. This is definitely 
feeding into a higher picture. There's something bigger that's happening here um, that spirit is trying to help uh, uh, nudge you along with and show you the way. And this is just one of the steps in the process of that. So just know that there's a reason why this is guided um, and why you feel like this is truly the flow of the universe um, because it's working towards something. They're trying to help you with something that's a bigger manifestation. There it is. Always pull one card, one psychic card at the end of the reading. And oh, there's two. Stand your ground and suffering in silence. This is so interesting because I feel like this is this is the energy that you have been in. And they're trying to tell you that you're helped, you're protected, that you can move beyond this. That doesn't mean that you um, aren't empowered in standing your ground and it doesn't mean that you don't have your own process to integrate, but it, they are asking you to move beyond the barriers and the walls in the protection and standing your ground out of fear and they're asking you to move it into... Um, an empowered way of standing and holding yourself and same thing with the suffering and silence like instead of it being out of fear it's out of I'm I'm choosing to unshackle myself and move through that process and there is some suffering and integration and processing to happen there but it's coming from an empowered place instead of walls up night you know white knuckling through it um, so it's about transforming these energies from their fear-based to their love-based, um, which is more empowered and liberated. So I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Um, once again, this is overall message for the collective. So take what resonates. Um, I look forward to seeing you next Friday. And of course, if you're interested in joining the intuition development course journey, either the eight week or the 16 week certification, um, the link will be in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your week and I will see you soon. Much love and namaste.